Well, Netflix users, the day you have dreaded is finally here. The company sending an email saying your account is only for you and other people in your household. In other words, no more password sharing unless you want to add an extra member to your account for a monthly fee, of course. Uh, so let's welcome our panel on this. Ari Bendersky, journalist and author of Something Glorious, Substack, and also joining me is Tulika Mayorta. Did I say that right? That's right. Okay, wonderful. I'm so happy that you're both here and you are the Chief Digital Officer of Peterson Technology Partners. Yeah. So let's get into one, Netflix. Is this gonna make people quit? You know, I think it will. I think that 40% of subscribers right now are families that are sharing passwords and it is a, the user experience is about sharing what you're watching, talking about it later, it's adult children. Um, I don't think it's going to go down very uh, well. I think this is an opportunity for Netflix to really sort of in the short term work on their business issue about the subscriber growth, but in the long term, I don't think it's the right direction to go. I think there's so much content out there that there's really an opportunity for users to look elsewhere. And then also for users to try to circumvent what Netflix is actually trying to fix. Well, that's exactly what I was gonna ask because from a business standpoint, Ari, there are so many other options for folks. So do you think people will go elsewhere? You know, I think that most people who have streaming services have a lot of them. And Netflix is the OG streaming right. service. I don't really think that a lot of people are going to, I don't think they're going to lose subscribers. I think they may in the long term gain people because the people who were taking from the other password might find the benefit in doing their own. So is this our fault, Talika? Is this because we've been sharing our password with too many folks? Or what do you people. think? Well, in 2017, Netflix actually put out a tweet that said, love is sharing your password. And so they encouraged this. This is something that they wanted people to do. And so they kind of built it. And so now that people are doing it, they're asking for a U-turn. And that's, that's difficult culturally for us to do now that Netflix has become such a part of our just normal life, right? Absolutely. This is how we decompress. So do you think, Ari, there's an etiquette if you have an account and you have maybe a sibling who's been using the account for years and hasn't been paying anything, how do you have that conversation with the person? I mean, I think you just have to be straight up and tell them, look, this isn't my fault. This is Netflix saying you got to get your own account. I just think that the way that they're going about with the charging, um, I think it's excessive, to be honest. I think that, you know, for you to say, you have to spend $7.99 a month extra on top of your subscription that you're already paying, do a family plan. Yeah. Do something that's a little bit easier for people to absorb, um, either financially or emotionally, if that's the right way to talk about it. Well, and I just wanna to add to what Ari is saying, they already offer an ad supported model and, right. and it's cheaper than what they're offering. So they're asking you to pay $15.99 plus $7.99 when it's $6.99 if you have to forward, fast forward through some ads. <laughs> no, those are great points, great mm -hmm. points. And I'm really excited to get your take on this next topic. Um, another debate, North Carolina has introduced legislation banning participation trophies. You probably heard the complaints. You sports now hand out a trophy to everyone, even the quote unquote losers. Um, so is it a good thing if everyone goes home happy or is this killing competition? Uh, Talik, I'll start with you. Absolutely. So I have two young children and we have received those participation medals. And they're toddlers. They're toddlers. I can't believe yeah. that. So already. it starts really young. And this is something that has been going on for decades now. I do not believe this is a problem. I think it, it's creating a culture of, of collaborating. It's creating a culture of working together. There's a huge downturn in kids even playing sports. And so if anything encourages them or gets them excited, I am all for it. Okay. There's a lot of other layers to this, but I I don't see this as a problem. It is not, in my opinion, creating coddled adults. I agree with you that I think there are a lot of layers, mm -hmm. meaning age, when do you stop, and mm -hmm. certain discussions like that. But Ari, you don't have children, right. and you have stronger feelings about this. And I think um, it seems to be our discussion in the newsroom earlier that people who don't have children tend to have more. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so what are your feelings about this? I just think that, you know, we have a generation that has been entitled and I think that everybody expects to win and life doesn't work that way. And I feel like I'm talking in, with my father in my ear right now, but um, you have to learn those lessons that you don't always get a trophy. You don't always get the job. You don't always get that promotion. And I think that by allowing everybody to go home with whatever the trophy is or the prize, it's just saying that like, you don't have to work harder. You can, you'll win anyway. 
Okay, we've got about 30 seconds, but I would like you to respond. Yes. Well, to, to Ari's point, I think life is going to teach them that. I think life is going to teach them that you will not <laughs> get everything that you want. And so I think that is a given. And right now, with families who can't potentially afford a lot of these things, if there's an opportunity for kids to be involved and participate, I think that is a wonderful thing, at least early on. Can't they just participate? Do they have to, do they have to, does everyone have to win? <laughs> I love yeah. it. All right, Julika, great conversation. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up on News Nation Now Got Milk, we are live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with a very special tradition. That's next.